So what is mutation? So mutation is the permanent change in the base sequence of DNA. The change in the base sequence must be permanent and must involve change in DNA, not mRNA. Next, because of the change in the base sequence of DNA, it will lead to change in the base sequence of the mRNA. Kenapa? Sebab mRNA is produced from DNA during process transcription and then the mRNA will be used in translation to produce protein. So, in summary, mutation which occur in the DNA bukan hanya change the DNA sequence but consequently will also change the mRNA sequence as well as the amino acid sequence in the protein. Next, the organism which carry the mutated gene is known as mutant. So don't confuse between mutation and mutant. So mutation merujuk kepada gene tersebut ataupun base sequence in the DNA that had undergone the permanent change. So organism yang ada gene yang mutated tadi itulah mutant. So there are generally two types of mutation. Firstly is spontaneous mutation. The second type is induced mutation. So there are two types. So kalau type ada dua, spontaneous and induced mutation. So spontaneous mutation basically the types of mutation where it occurs spontaneously at random. So spontaneous mutation usually occur because of processes like DNA replication or meiosis in gametes formation. So during the replication, sometimes the DNA polymerase makes mistake. So DNA polymerase will synthesize new DNA strand by reading the DNA template. So kadang-kadang, semasa DNA polymerase sedang buat new DNA strand, dia akan tersalah letak complementary bases. For example, kalau dia baca A, sepatutnya dia letak T. Tetapi, if an error occur, so instead of synthesizing T, DNA polymerase tu letak G. Itulah yang dimaksudkan dengan error during DNA replication. So the next common mistake which leads to spontaneous mutation is during meiosis. So during meiosis, Spontaneous mutation usually involve a process known as non-disjunction. So what is non-disjunction? So non-disjunction refers to the incident where chromosome or sister chromatid fail to separate during anaphase of meiosis 1 or meiosis 2. So kat sini kita nampak ada dua sel yang sedang undergone anaphase 1 or anaphase 2. So the cell on the left, so during anaphase 1, supposedly, one of these homologous chromosomes will move to one pole. So the other will move to the opposite pole. So kesannya, sepatutnya, satu daughter cell only contain one chromosome, so the other daughter cell will contain the other satu lagi chromosome. Tapi in this case, we can see that non-disjunction has taken place. Kenapa? Sebab bila ada sepasang homologous kromosom ni, so both of the homologous pair has moved into the same daughter cell. So the other daughter cell sekarang tak ada kromosom, empty. So inilah non-disjunction which occurred during anaphase 1. So, kalau anaphase 2 pun boleh berlakunya non-disjunction. Cuma, during anaphase 2, sister chromatid supposed to split and move to the opposite pole. Tapi, during non-disjunction, the sister chromatid did not split. Both of the sister chromatid will move into the same daughter cell. So, the other daughter cell pun akan ada empty. 
So inilah yang dimaksudkan dengan non disjunction which can occur during anaphase 1 or anaphase 2 of meiosis. And this is one of the reason which can cause spontaneous mutation. So the second type of mutation is induced mutation. So induced maksudnya mutation ini adalah any kind of mutation which is caused by mutagen. So since induced mutation is caused by something, so that something is known as mutagen, that's why induced mutation is not random process. Dia tidak berlaku secara random. Tetapi dia disebabkan oleh sesuatu. And that sesuatu is known as mutagen. So, what is mutagen? So, mutagen can either be a physical agent or a chemical agent that causes induced mutation. So, maksudnya, there are two types of mutagen. Either physical or chemical. So, example of physical agent is UV or ultraviolet rays and gamma rays. Untuk chemical mutagen pula, pun ada dua example. So, the first one is called caisin. The second one is ethidium bromide. So, colchicine adalah an example of chemical mutagen that can also leads to non-disjunction. So, sebelum ni, non-disjunction which occur during meiosis can occur at random. Iaitu, the chromosome ataupun the sister chromatid did not separate. Okay? Tetapi sebenarnya, non-disjunction pun boleh disebabkan oleh ada chemical seperti colchicine. So, colchicine ini adalah chemical that can disrupt formation of spindle fiber. So, yang kita tahu, during anaphase, spindle fiber will pull the chromosome or the sister chromatid towards the opposite pole. So, if these two cells has been exposed to colchicine, so, colchicine can disrupt the formation of spindle fiber. So, kalau tak ada spindle fiber, that's why dua-dua homologous chromosome ini boleh move into the same daughter cell. Sama juga, sister chromatid ini dua-dua can move in, into the same daughter cell. Sebab spindle fiber tidak ada untuk pull them to the opposite pole. So, ingat, non junction can occur at random. So, if it occur at random, that means the non junction is involved in spontaneous mutation. But, if the non junction is caused by exposure to chemical agents such as colchicine, so in that case, the non junction process is involved in induced mutation.